Have you ever downloaded a game from Google Play Store thinking that the game would be awesome but it turns out to be dumb? Then there's a good news for you. Google Play Instant is a cool new feature where you get to try the game online before even downloading it. Sounds cool, right? So today I'll be telling you on how you can use this feature to test games before downloading. So stick to this video till the end and also subscribe to my channel because I bring a lot more unique videos like this just for you guys so that you get to learn something new and useful with each of my videos. So hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Texter1504, my name is Utsav and without wasting any further time, let's start our video. So yesterday I was scrolling through the play store looking out for something new where I noticed an app with the try now button just beside the install button. Since I've never seen anything like that before, I started to dig deeper into it. Then I came to know that a few months back, Google came with this idea of making it possible to try the game online before even installing it, which they called Google Play Instant. At that time, there were only a handful of games which supported this feature, but now the catalog has expanded quite a lot and new games are added on a regular basis. Since you now know what this feature is, now let me tell you how you can find the apps or games which support this feature. What you need to do in order to get the list of supported games, just go to the link down in the description box below and it will automatically take you to the play store with the compatible apps listed like this. Here you can tap on any of the games and rather than hitting the install button, hit the try now button. Now before you hit the try now button, it needs to be clear that since the game is going to run online, you're gonna need a proper internet connection for smoother gameplay. Now once you make sure of that, you can hit the try now button in order to start the game. Here's a bit of gameplay for one of the games so that you get the complete idea of how it works and how much time it takes to load the game. Now even though this new feature is really awesome, there are a few cons that you'll notice. First of them is that even though you get several cool games like Final Fantasy XV, Crash Royale and The Walking Dead that supports this feature, the list is pretty small as compared to the total number of games available on the Play Store. And second is that you cannot infinitely long play a game using this feature as some of the games like Clash Royale prompt you to install the game after you complete the first level. But these cons doesn't mean that this is not a good feature. With time, this feature could be implemented to more and more games so that it saves our time as well as data. So this was it for today guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did then leave the like button turned on and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so as to get notified for all my latest videos. So I'll see you in my next video with something new. Till then, goodbye.